How are you doing? I'm good, just trying to plan for another summer of the unknown. <laughs> <laughs> yep, another one of those is on its way, isn't it? Summer is going to be different for everyone once again this year. And that includes the many Muslims who would normally be about to undertake Hajj. Hajj is the pilgrimage that's made by around two and a half million Muslims every year from all across the globe to Mecca, Saudi Arabia. And this year it's happening in July. Choosing a pair of glasses usually involves either you like them or you don't. But the way we choose our glasses in future could be set to change. It's time for personalised 3D printed frames. 3D printed glasses, they come in a variety of colours too. Now the idea is that you choose the style that you think will suit you best. <laughs> no. And from there, a pair can be 3D printed that should fit you perfectly. In store to create an avatar to try on the eyewear. The system's algorithms measuring would be entirely possible on a mobile phone. The pupils, so where the pupils sit within the, within the lens. OK, so I need to label my right pupil. There we go. Left pupil. Right temple. Um, the vertex distance, so the... I can choose the colour of the arms. Let's go for silver. They look nice. Now I can order them. And the future could... OK, well, your glasses have arrived now, haven't they? Do you want to pop them on for us? They are super light Ooh. and really comfortable. But the thing that I noticed more than anything was in the shop, when I was trying them on, everything looked a bit wonky. I always have this with sunglasses <laughs> where one eyebrow shows and the other doesn't. So clearly I've got a wonky face. And these glasses seem to fix the issue. The glasses are maybe as wonky as my face. I no longer I've have eyebrows that don't match. I've never thought of you as having a wonky face before, <laughs> but uh, I'll have to take a closer look in future. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Do you fancy something else that's 3D printed? It's slightly bigger than a pair of glasses, though. What is it? It's a house. In California, you'll be unsurprised to hear, 3D printed houses are a thing. Kind of. These are houses that are partly constructed using 3D printing techniques. And here's James Clayton to tell us more. That was James. Now, as we said, summer season is upon us and many of us will be getting itchy feet and wishing that we could go on holiday abroad. But alas, here we are. So we're bringing you a story from far away, really far away. When Nick Quek was in South Australia, naturally, he wanted to test some of the produce. Of course he did. <laughs> Cheers, Nick. I think I'll treat myself to a glass of red after that. I think I'll just stick to the fruit juice, unless they could create wine that didn't give you a hangover. Now that I would be interested in. Yeah, because it's, it's not about you, is it? It's all the wine's fault. Uh, Obviously. <laughs> another film for another time, I think. Anyway, that is it from us for now. As ever, you can keep up with the team on social media. Find us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at BBC Click. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.